it, some of it is hidden. In some situations, it's hidden this way, in situations it's hidden that way. To hit is to hit. So we're gonna be reviewing Rolling Loud Jewelry. Rolling Loud had a lot of performances and we're gonna rate the jewelry the performers were wearing. Lil Wayne, Trippy Red, Chief Keef, Kodak Black, Ice Spice, Central C, Polo G, and Nardo Wick were all iced out and we're gonna rate them from the bottom to the top. All right, Ice Spice is wearing her uh, Ice Spice piece. Am I feeling it? <laughs> so this piece was done by Benny, the jeweler, okay? That, that I know, I've seen him make it happen. It went viral enough, you know what I'm saying, when, when the piece came out, which is always great. Her first piece, I'm gonna have to give her a break, right? She came to Rolling Loud, she's wearing her first piece. How many carats, how much is it? What is the quality of the diamonds? I'm not here to rag on people's jewelry, but for the first one, or her first chain to come out it's 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 great that's why it makes the list at the bottom but you know what I'm saying she's coming up questions are did she get it as a promo did she pay half for it uh, or whatever that is and I've been in that situation sometimes that happens when you're doing a promo piece it's not gonna be the same quality as as when you're spending a hundred thousand dollars but none of that matters what's important is the piece went viral She's got it on a Cuban. She's having a good time with it. And it's a unique, original piece. You know, the diamond quality could be ticked up. What is her watch? What is that? She's wearing a, a Richard Mille. You never know. You know what I'm saying? These are expensive watches. Some of them are different prices, different situations. But compared to the rest of her stuff, I don't know if that's what she got. Uh, we'd have to ask a watch expert. Let me see if I can ask Roman. Hey man, I'm trying to figure out this watch Ice Spice is wearing. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it right here. It's an RM10 iced out. How much is that? Factory of Buck 80. And iced out? Iced out? 80,000. 80,000, okay. It might, it might be remanufactured case. Uh, yeah, the, of course they do. When it comes to watches, I got to call the expert, you know? When I'm going to have you make me that, now that I think about it, I would help him for a suit. Mm -hmm. It says great market. I'm with it. I'm on it. All right, we got challenged right here by the watch pro. All right, guys, over and out. Be on stage at Rolling Loud must be a fucking amazing experience. On a scale of one to ten, I'd rate that experience an SI. <laughs> Next up is Central C and his pieces, his big Chanel joint, um, uh, his other blocky piece. I'm not jumping up and down for these pieces. I gotta be honest with you. I know he's jumping up and down on his performance. His diamonds are uh, a little, you know, they're a little. Well, this is what happens in the jewelry business. You viewer, put yourself in the artist, uh, celebrity, what have you position. You want your piece this big or that big, and you're not ready. Is it a hundred thousand? Two hundred thousand? Two hundred fifty thousand? Someone's telling you two fifty. Someone's telling you two hundred. Do you go with a lower price or do you go with another? And the jeweler at the same time is trying to say, Yo, I'm going to undercut this guy. I'm going to do it for two hundred. He'll feel like he's saving fifty thousand, but then I'm gonna what? Cut corners. They're gonna cut corners but i'm not saying that he has a piece that cut corners but i'm just not a jumping up and down for it because you're gonna see it what jewelry is supposed to do when corners are not cut six hundred thousand dollars on this set so nardo all right nardo what nardo wick yep. nardo wick that. Nardo, what did you spend? Nardo Wick is wearing every chain he has at the same time, which is cool. Fully iced, three Cubans, monster sized pieces, Audemars, three Cuban bracelets, monster sized rings. It's monster sized pieces. I found a ticket on that, I'll tell you that much, however much a ticket is. One, two, three. If I had to put an estimate on the prices of all these pieces, the three pendants, 200 grand. Three chains, another 150. The only thing Nardo missing with his jewelry is the detail. My favorite one out of that is that WG joint. It looks a little bit more rockier. You want the appropriate borders on the letters. You want the setting to be proper. Again, the man spent 600 fucking grand and got tons and tons of diamonds. The value behind all that, if he wanted to come in and sell that, I'd have to give him the gold weight and 100 bucks a carat. So Trippy Red. Trippy Red has an exclusive jewelry style. The man wears his jewelry a little bit punk rock, but you 
you're seeing some enamel, you're seeing some custom chains. It doesn't have a single Cuban on. All of his chains are custom, all of his chains are different. Got a little bit of enamel, he's got a little detail. That's dope, that's fire, you know what I'm saying? That's something that is completely unique to him. He's got a Sky Dweller on, on one hand, another watch on the other, but all of his jewelry is original, all of his jewelry is a little bit different. You want the, the fans in the back of the crowd to be able to see your setup and see your chains. And remember, not everybody's got the same quality diamonds. That's where you make the money in the diamond industry, is on the diamond. VS, nobody wants to pay that price. You know, sometimes I look at some of these pieces and it's not everything I'd like it to be. But I like Trippy Red's setup. The diamonds are hitting. He's been in the jewelry game for longer than some of the other guys. That's why his looks like that. And you're spending 600000 500000 300000 on something. Yeah, you're gonna sit back, smoke a backwood and listen to tracks of my C explain what the f it is. Polo G is doing it fucking different, but the same. He's got a monster picture pen. Three Cubans, right? When you get your Cubans, it's important how you get your Cubans done. I'm gonna mention Fat Boy here. Fat Boy SSC. His jewelry is from one jeweler, then another jeweler is doing another one, then this one's doing that one. The diamonds are five pointers here, three pointers there. Forget there. SI2, SI1. This is it. That's not the way you want. You want your Cubans to be matching. You want it to look like a set you don't want to sit here wearing adidas zip up nike shorts eli sneakers bro you know what i'm saying that's not what you want that's not what polo g is doing he's got three monster cubans they look like a set the diamonds look on par the picture pendant is massive with a massive fucking rim that's what's up spending crazy tickets i'd say it's a notch above you could tell when the jeweler doesn't want to lose the client how much she spend on that dinner pendant on that dinner plate Three hundred thousand? i don't really know could have been done a little bit better though because i can't see what the f it is it's got some sort of scribbles some sort of scrabbles on it shit you not if you can't differentiate it at a glance then it doesn't matter what it is only he knows i hope he's happy that way because i can't figure out what that pen's about neither can you you know i'm sorry polo i don't want to rag on your piece man but you got to get some more detail in there bro you guys gotta stop rushing your jewelers you can't even blame his jeweler it's you polo g it's your fault you rushed your jewelers man and you paid the price popping off is our boy kodak black a friend and a client of ours he's wearing his rings with the baguettes and so on and so forth a crazy outfit from who i don't know where and he didn't go crazy because this is a real artist first and foremost you know what i'm saying he's wearing these my favorite crosses this baguette crosses triple layered mixed in it's a combination and it's got the right quality of diamond. Kodak is a maniac. I do business with the man. He's a, he's a wild guy. They've got a variety of different jewelers. I don't know who made that piece, but it's a dope piece. It's got the right baguettes, but even if he was wearing absolutely nothing, the hits that he's rocking and rolling loud, he's got a collection. The crowd goes crazy. When he delivers all his catalog of music, that's the jewelry. That's VS. At number two, I really like this jewelry setup as Chief Keith. And it's not because, you know what I'm saying, he showed me love and hit me up. Chief Keith is a real serious person. First and foremost, he doesn't have a scribble pendant on, okay? He's got a monster-sized Jesus head. Dope as f He's got the type of Jesus head that Biggie was wearing, that Tupac was wearing. The monster size, VS'd out, fully f***ing ice. That's the iconic shit that you want. It's something that I would love to own, something I would love to hold as a person in the jewelry business for 18, 19 f years who's been watching jesus pieces from canal street all the way to the diamond district who's seen them all and done them all that's the one i want to peep and that shit is fly monster bail the chain that he's got it on is some geared mechanical type chain but whatever that is what it is i'm not jumping up and down for that chain cubans are monster size tight and then you got this graffiti joint bubbled out fully iced and he's got a fully iced patek philippe monster amounts of bracelets i should have worn my shit watching chief keith i feel like i should need to put my on you know what i'm saying and he's got some jesus head colored uh behind there but i'm glad it's behind and you know when he's on stage and the neck is hitting like crazy if you put his and trippy red shit side by side you know it's gonna be his for me this is the style i like this is chicago new york that fruity jesus head that he's got back there i keep it back there <laughs> But I like your style, Chief Keef. You're the f***ing 
man 100% with the glow boys as it turns out now remember all rappers artists jewelry enthusiasts that piece right there now that I could certify VF that's why I put them in number one now you could see how Wayne's joint is on a different level okay again no disrespect but can you compare their pieces on stage go watch it yourself if you want to what the little Wayne's monster fucking piece is doing how do you know it's vs watch it watch the way it hits it looks like there's a fucking flash photography fucking squad inside there it looks like princess diana pulled up she's got her tits out and the photographers are fucking flashing rest in peace princess diana the only way i could describe it how much would that piece be 300 something around there and it could be more than that even i don't even know as far as diamonds is concerned he could have had that same look with lab made diamonds and saved himself a lot of money let's put it like this he could have sit here and with lab spend 100 instead of 400 on the diamonds and excluding the gold and the gold is expensive here too it's heavy you're gonna get that effect better with lab than you are with those si's and all that other sh the lab diamonds are on fire he's probably wearing natural because he's got money to burn it sits on its own and it's on fire it's on fire you can't take your eyes off of it you can't take your eyes off that piece Baba john please jeweler's scared to f him over and that's not that flawed shit where the diamond hits from this side but it, from that side it does nothing no 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 that's not happening here that's young money getting old the jewelry game is a complicated game. You've got ego, you've got diamonds, you've got clarity, you've got budgets, you've got competition, you've got experience. All that is in play. Every jeweler, every rapper, every customer plays that differently. The key word is trust. Second key word is profit. All these things are at play, but you know, we rated it. Let us know if I was wrong or right in the comments. Put your list in, let's see. I'll keep an eye out and I'm um, uh, for the next one.